Ah, uh, yo then guys, and welcome back to another video. Now, really quickly, you're going to be able to tell a little bit of a difference here. There's no green screen behind me. The reason for that? Because we're playing Simulacra 2, a horror game. Let me just put my phone up there. Um, you can have a, there's a window for you guys to look at. There's a background for you guys to look at. Basically, I just wanted to make things as scary as possible. So, it is 20 to 10 at night. There's no lights on around me. It's all pitch black. Um... It's dark outside, there's no lights in here apart from these, and uh, yeah, we're just going to jump straight into this. This is going to be an interesting one. Right, here we go. Right. I don't think these are going to show up, hopefully not. No, they don't. What's going on? Here we go, right. Choose how your journey begins. You're a junior detective and a hardcore skeptic, or you're a tabloid reporter and fright to your beat. Fuck it, we're gonna go fright to my beat. I'm gonna turn this down. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm looking at you. I know you're there. Oh, right, let's put the window down. Nice spot for a quiet date, huh? I don't like this. You're wondering what the great detective Marillo is doing meeting up with I don't know who you are. Sorry. Whoa. Look, I'm desperate, okay? I think this case is right up your alley. Okay. No one in the department has my back on this. The fuck is that sound? Someone's just driving out. I need someone on the outside. Just my luck. Imagine. There's someone behind. Just... Babe! <laughs> so I'm trying to get round. <laughs> Sorry. Well, here's your chance to prove it. Okay. Doc return, Detective Murillo. In return, you get the scoop of a lifetime. Alright. Turn the phone on when you're alone. Okay. I'll give you more instructions then. Don't make me regret this. Oh, what, bitch? Sorry. Oh. Sorry, I had a spot on my chin. Oh, fuck. Can I just... Because I know... When we turned on the phone last time in the last simulacra, there was a jump scare instantly, so... I'm just being aware. Um, just so you know, I'm probably going to have these as, like, half an hour episodes. I don't want them to go on too long because people... Um, normally like to see shorter episodes, so yeah, probably be a few episodes. I don't know how long this game is, to be honest. Right, okay. I don't know anything about the game. All I know is that it's phone-based. This was released on uh, phone first as well. So it was released like a month ago on, a pho on the phone. Which probably is, you know, the, uh, the correct way to go about it. Okay. I loved the first one. The DLC I didn't play, but I watched, and it was a little bit lackluster. So let's hope Simulacra 2 comes off the Simulacra vibe. Oh, fuck it now. What's going on? Oh, okay. Hello, testing. Test, test. Great, it works. I got a fresh murder case. That's way over my head, and I need your help. Okay. Why ask a reporter's help? Okay. This is strictly off record. But I can't trust anyone on the force right now. So you trust a reporter. Okay. Um, the chief closed the case in less than a week. It said it, was a, said it was an open and shut accidental death. They just want to hit this month's quota instead of doing a proper job. What a disgrace. Uh... Maybe they're just really inefficient. <laughs> Don't flatter them too much. I swear that was just a knocking sound in my left ear. Of all the budget cuts, departments willing to do anything to scrape by. Uh, and justice takes a hit. I need the case reopened by force if necessary. So I borrowed the only evidence I need. The victim's phone. Which you have right now. What I do? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> um... Yeah. 
It's grim and it's weird, I know, but it's effective. The investigation was a whole load of incompetent police work. Slipshot evidence collection, bad interviewing practices. I don't even know why they bothered. My gut told me to look further and this phone proves me right. Right, so you've already looked at it then. How did she die? Who was the victim? Don't you think your methods are extreme? Who was the victim? We want to know who the victim is right away. Her name was Maya. Maya? Maya? We'll go with Maya. We received an anonymous call of a disturbance at her apartment. Responding officer found her dead. Don't you think that was too convenient a tip-off? I really feel that there has to be a foul play here. What are your leads? Yeah, what are your leads? Let's move this. Nothing concrete, but listen, Jesus Christ. We're doing this off a, off a hunch. Um, that video she left seems like she knew something bad was going to happen. Have you seen it? Oh, I don't like fucking videos. This is all oh, my no, fault. No, 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 no. I saw all the signs. I don't like corrupted footage. He's just oh. so much easier to believe that I was just imagining things. I didn't know we'd get this bad. Oh I no. I felt it. Oh, don't look behind you. I can feel it coming from me. Fucking hell. Oh, that's fucking horrible. And I think it wants to when they eat, like move her eyes. Just end. No jump scares. Just fucking end, game. Just end the video. Oh, I fucking hate that. I hate that so much. When they... That's fucking disgusting. Pfft. When they corrupt footage to the point where, like, the face move, like, changes. So, like, the che like the face goes from skin to, like, bare, like, skeleton. Or the eyes, like, blacken. And there's no, um, uh, retinal. You know what I mean. Whatever it's called. Ret I don't know what it's called anymore. Like, the, uh, the ball in the middle. That's no longer white or a different color. That's just, like, all black and it moves down the face. It's horrid. Okay, can we look at the others? Hi. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. Don't jump scare me. Don't jump scare me. Just end. Thank you. Oh, fucking hell. This is full screen. Are you guys ready? Yes. Get in place. Get in place, okay? And... I don't think this one's going to be scary. Let's go for it. Get in close. Who are these? This is okay, interesting. Oh, sorry, that was on video. Wait, 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 I got this, I got this. Okay. Okay. Just don't jump scare me, okay? Is there anything weird around here? Don't think so. Ah, so there's the them four again. Okay, so it's clearly a pattern. So these are friends, I'm guessing them. There's them again. Oh, no, that's a picture that they should have taken. There's a picture they should have taken. I'm not liking these. I'm really not liking these. Can I scan that? No. Okay. Sorry, sorry. I'm back. I'm back. Um, yeah, I scanned it with Warden. Trust the hack to trust the hack to poke around immediately. Good job, I suppose. Looks like someone or something was stalking her. Anything stick out to you? Um, yeah, she was worried about something or someone hurting her. A stalker or an enemy, maybe? Look at how she's twitching. She didn't feel safe in her own damn house. Reminds me of some of my stranger cases. Yeah, who is the video addressed to? 
Up to us to find out. This is your chance to be part of something big. Work with me and the Department of Obscure Phenomena. A discreet team within the force solving cases involving the supernatural and the unknown. Oh, Jesus. Ooh. How big is the department? Look, I'm working this department alone. Right, for fuck's sake. I can't convince anyone else. Oh, fuck off with the dimming lights. Fuck off. I can't be doing with that. So I need you to be my civilian consultant and restore the phone. Oh, this is fucking horrible. Thank God I have a display, otherwise I'm going to constantly think someone's behind me. How, did I, how do I do that? Do I look like tech support? Is this really the best evidence we have here? How do I do that? I was hoping you can answer that. Fantastic. I'm no good with my te new technologies. So, I'm oh, I'm fucking seeing things, fam. I'm fucking seeing things. Oh, that's horrible. I'm seeing like lights in the corner of my eye. Okay. I'm no good with new t technology, so I was hoping you can finish what I started. I installed an app there called Warden. But it's just off the side of the TV. I need to stop. It scans existing files to recover lost or corrupted information in phones. Ah, I'm sure you can figure it out yourself. We need to restore the data on Maya's phone. Okay. The fuck? Oh, I thought I put my phone on silent. Sorry, give me a sec. Right, sorry. Um, what's the, what new messages did we just get? Oh. Just remembered, you might find this manual useful. The fuck is this? This is like some proper, like, old school shit. Uh, since the department is pinching pennies, I'll be conducting this training manual. Why? Because you're the only one here. It's called, uh, uh, never mind. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Warden. This app is a powerful data recovery tool. And right. true detection tool. It does this by a crypting blowfish, which is, uh, wait, a cryptology. Okay. Uh, what is important is this app can scan pieces of information mm -hmm. and offer us new pieces of information. Oh, uh, sorry, I'm knackered. Here on this button to start a scan. Okay. And the results. I've already done this. I know. In this space here. Yeah. You can then sort through the recovered data to find possibly crucial evidence yeah. for your case. I already know this. To exit. Just press the home button here. As what the you fuck can is see, this? This simple but sophisticated technology will help the force do our jobs better and faster. Okay. What is this? I look like an idiot. <laughs> He's just fucking staring at the camera like, can you hurry up and fucking, can you hurry up and fucking end, please? And he's just like, I look like an idiot. <laughs> you couldn't afford a decent camera even. <laughs> Stop with the lim and dim and light shit. I apologize for not meeting your high artistic standards. I'm a cop, not a goddamn Tarantino. Just get on with it. We're on a clock here. Okay, fine. Ugh. Corrupted photo, is that it? Oh shit, it is. Wait, what? That was easy. Please wait while we restore your device. Do not switch off. Oh my god, okay. I really don't like the way she's looking in that. Whoa! You are useful after all. Fuck you! Looks like some of the phone's data and... Oh my god, I turned American. I just turned American because I said data. Looks like some of the phone's data and information is being restored. Just keep doing this and we will find something in no time. Are you spying on me? Because it seems like you are. I'm still in charge here. I can see whatever warden recovers. So I can get up to speed immediately. Okay. 
You need to know details of the crime scene as well. It's all in the case file. Where can I find it? In the case file. Okay. okay. Ah, here. Right, so I need to know our phone. I need to know transcript document. Wait, no, it's a case file. Well, I'm in transcripts. All right, so I need to know the name, status, if it's ongoing, closed, cold case. Okay, and I need to know the month. Um, get it from Warden. Damn it. I've got to make sure no one notices the missing evidence. Do your homework. I'll get back to you soon. Okay. Oh. Okay. Something I will say is apologies if my face isn't that well lit. I'll try and sort it out in the um, in the ed edit. But uh, yeah, I wanted to do it like this. So there's no green screen behind me. And it's just a little bit um, more creepy for me. So we need to find out the victim's name, whether it's ongoing. I think it's a closed case. It is, yeah, because he said it's closed. And we need to know what month. So let's start looking at some of these. Oh, so if this literally just like surfing the internet. Okay, cool. Grab success by the throat. Rex Keegan. Ah, this is the guy that we're friends with. Okay. Businessman, um, consultant, philanthropist, and educator. Grab success by the throat. How you can earn $500 daily just by liking posts on Chimera. For a mere price of $10,000, learn the scientifically proven throat method where you or T H R O A T method, where you can turn your favorite pastime into a professional career. With the amount of money you'll be making, this is practically a steal. Okay. Rex Keegan is a successful businessman, consultant, philanthropist, and educator. After establishing his online presence just over a year ago, Rex Keegan's following quickly grew to a now six figure follow account on both Chimera and Jabber. Timed, holistic, robust, outstanding, appreciation, and technique. All right, we're going to go home and we're going to look at Chimera. So this is him. Let's give us a little I listen. I didn't want to have to do this, but when the haters try to drag you down like crabs in a bucket, I got to speak up. Okay. Me Tychowalski, a wannabe activist and my own personal stalker. This guy thinks I'm some kind of scam artist, as if I need to, con you know, fool people to make bank. All I know about this schmuck is, one, he took my course, two, okay. he couldn't hack it, and three, he wants to blame everyone but himself. Yeah. Ty is a loser cubicle monkey who's high on excuses oh, shit. and low on ambition. Oh, shit. He knows he can't get better. Oh, shit. He won't put in the work. Oh, fuck. He's called you this know, guy out. I'm not even that mad. This guy's life is so sad. I'm kind of sorry for him. Oh, oh, shit, Rex Keegan. I mean, he's left some HTML in there, but you know what? I think that's actually CSS because you're describing the way that it's meant to look. But he just called him out. I mean, that hasn't got a very good like to dislike ratio. You know, I'm going to like that for you, buddy. Piece of shit, you doxed me. I never did that. My followers just did what they thought was best. Oh, shit. I have a daughter, you psycho. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, you know what? We're going to back out of that one. And we're going to continue... Um, look him. We have a really good like-to-dislike ratio. And we've got 120,000 followers. Why do we upload that? Does it not say? No. Oh, 27 days ago. So in a month, we've gained another 20,000 followers. Fair fucking play, Maya. Wait, Maya Crane. That's her name. Okay, sweet. Now we just need to know when it when it was. Um, let's look at, no, was it Jabber? Yeah, it's Jabber next. I wish all my problems can be solved with an apology video. <laughs> Late for work? Apology video. Forget your anniversary? Apology video. Straight up killed a dude? Apology video. It solves it all. Just give it a little, <sighs> and then say your thing. Okay, there's nothing really on here. Oh, Maya... Eats clean. Stopped posting a while ago. Anyone know what happened to her? Internet detox. I heard it's quite popular. She needs to need a time out, I guess. God, hope she's okay. Alright. Um. Phone. 
Anything? I doubt it. Let's look at the chats. What's going on? Uh, new beginnings. So, so. It's official. We're a team now. Do you... Oh, so they're a team. Okay. Rex, Mina, Aria. I don't know who Aria or Mina are. So Rex is the guy that we took the picture with. Wait. So these are the guys that we took the picture with. Okay. So you've got Mina, Aria, and Rex. Okay. So it's official. We're a team now. Do you guys think we should have a team name like all the big collectives on Chimera do it? Like all the big collectives on Chimera do it? Love, Marsoff. This isn't high school, Mina. And we got to be like everybody else. I think it's a fun idea since we're friends now. Being part of a group doesn't make us automatic friends. Wow. Jesus. Wow. Rex is our, I wouldn't say no to how do I put this? Friendlier relations. Maybe I will introduce my foot to your face. <laughs> Jesus. Um, anyway, Mina's right. Fans eat it up when their faves get together, especially when they're all besties, you know? So I guess these are like internet sensations. That's what I'm guessing. Done and dumb. Seriously, what's next? Color-coded spandex suits? <laughs> you changed the name to Rex's Rangers. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Okay, do I have to really read all of this? Um, you changed the group now name to New Beginnings. That's beautiful, Maya. Rather cliche, but I suppose cliche does sell. To new friends and new beginnings. God, are you always this chirpy? Good to see everyone's getting along. Stop with the fucking dimmy the light shit. Okay. Ooh, I thought I missed the jabber thing. But you're all going to be there too, okay. right? I hate going for these things alone. Everyone's so fake. So if it gets too much, I can chill with you guys. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Yo, anyone showing up for the network session tonight? Okay, yeah, cool, 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 cool. Right. Unread, unrecoverable chat history. So nothing was there. Okay. Hmm. Month. Wait, is that the month that it is? Or is that the month that I need to... I'm gonna... What's the month? Because it did say, I think it's October. October. Right, let's try it. So, we go there. Her name is Maya Crane. It's a closed case. Don't know why I went this way. And it's October. Fuck. Search. Bingo, bango. Let's go. But that all rhymed. I presume that you're done with the files. Anything in there looks normal to you? Uh, one minute. I haven't even had time to read it. Photo attached. Right, so. Oh my fucking God. What the fuck happened to her? She's got scratches all over her, like, face, their facial tears. Multiple faint, faint scars across the face, leading all the way to the top and back of the head. As a whole, these scars appear to form a pattern. Scars were deep and extremely thin. Blood vessels around the affected areas were cauterized, possibly explaining the absence of bleeding at the time of death. No other visible burn injuries present. We've got head injuries, slight bruise on the back of the head. She was deceased, collapsed to the ground from an upright position. Heart tears, tears in the muscle tissue. What the fuck? The manner of the death seems to be sudden in nature. The deceased poss possibly experienced a momentary loss of control or consciousness before collapsing on the ground, likely due to the sudden strain on the heart. The injuries around the face could not be determined. That's fucked. Okay. Yeah. What the heck happened to her face? It's our job to figure it out. I can't tell if those are lacerations or scars on her face. Never seen anything like that. <laughs> Vampires? <laughs> Idiot. What? Vampires leave bite marks on the neck. Oh, yeah. Anyway, those markings were not the cause of death. Looks like old scars, but from what? No signs of forced entry, too. So not a robbery. Any witnesses? Did you even re read the damn report? Old lady across the hall confirms Myra was at home that night. Last person to see her alive. 
What about CCTV? Just our luck. Some interference fried the apartment's entire network. Instantly screams paranormal. But then this is Simulacra. For those of you that don't know what sim uh, Simulacra is, it's based off a Simulacrum. Um, I can't remember the exact definition of a Simulacrum, but basically it's it's a, um, a like a ghost of another person. So it kind of copies that person. So in the other game, her name was Anna. And she went missing and this simulacrum attached him itself to her and was able to go on. Uh, it's, it's basically like being possessed, that kind of thing. But like you're copied, like you have two people, like you are two people. It's really weird. Um, funny thing, same kind of interference we saw on Maya's video, just weaker. As of now, nothing we have from the crime scene leads to anything substantial. Our best lead is still the phone. There is still more we don't know. I can feel it. Yeah, you sound very sure that there's more on the phone. Are you sure you haven't done something? Maya's entire life is in there. I mean, to be fair, she was an internet personality. An influencer, just the fucking worst way to describe someone. That makes it a great source. I need your tenacity. Aha. Every scrap of information on that phone is possible evidence. So make sure to recover all of the data you can. This, influ this influencer life really is something. Oh, so you've been learning more about our victim? Feels wrong looking through someone's... Uh, yeah, I read the case file already. I said more. Like I said. Mm. To understand the crime, we have to really know our victim down to every last detail. Well, she suddenly disappeared from social media. Interesting. Make a note of when. Who knows if it might be useful. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Who, make a note of when. Who knows if it might be useful. Look, I know I'm pushing you here, but even seemingly insignificant scraps of information might tell us something about this case. Just keep looking. You'll see I'm right. Okay, they've just been typing in the chat. Um, did the cops contact you or anyone again? Why? They poking around? You tell them anything? Can I wait for them to comment? No. Worried about something? Maya? No way. Who the hell is this? Why do you have her phone? Identify yourself now. They're not going to believe me. Guys, it's me, Maya. Oh my god, Maya, you are okay. Yo, this is some screwed up prank. I'm so, so sorry, Maya, about everything. Mina, don't be an idiot. Whoever this is, you better fess up before I report you. Just someone interested in Maya. Oh, great. It's one of her weirdo perv fans. You can't just do this. It's against the law, right? It is illegal. You better tell us who you are before I call the cops. I'm a journalist. Fine. Just wow. Already jumping on Maya's story. But how did you get Maya's phone? Want to bet it's illegally? I'm going to report this. Go right ahead. What Rex is trying to say is this whole ordeal is hard on us all. And we are a little jumpy. Right, Rex? I don't like this one bit. Uh, we've already spoken to the cops. Are we like suspects? Guys, please. Do the police have any leads so far? What do you know? Worried about something? No, just curious. Look, look, dealing with this publicly has been a nightmare for us. We're still in mourning, you know. Let's get this drama over with ASAP, all right? Do you, how do you know Maya? We work together. Worked. We ran an influencer collective that maximized follower, return on investment, and revolutionized content circulation. You're all influencers. Yes, it was Maya's idea to work together. Yeah, everything was good till... How do I put this? Till Maya went legit cuckoo. Rex. She was acting kind of weird. Like, she went AWOL for a few days. Acting weird? 
weird, like paranoid weird. Like she hadn't slept much. Maya said she wanted to quit the business for good, but I thought she was just venting. Entrepreneurship is hard, man. Maybe she just couldn't handle it. I'm just sad she didn't tell us how stressed she was. You're saying the pro job pressure did her in. Fuck's sake. Like, I'm positive that's a possibility. Look, Maya has always had high expectations of herself. I think that was her downfall too. Yeah, it sucks, but some people just can't be saved, you know? Is that all? Can I go now? For now. I hope you figure it out soon. Let us know if you need anything else. Later, Gators. Fuck's sake, Rex. Okay. Um, no, cancel. Oh, fuck my life. That scared the absolute fucking shit out of me. Oh, don't fucking do it to me, game. I fucking knew it. Oh, my God. I don't, I don't feel good. I don't feel good in here. Fucking please. I don't feel good in here. I really fucking don't. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. What is this? I'm really not feeling okay. Fuck. Don't fucking look at me, Maya. Don't fucking look at me. Oh, my God. Oh, no, 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 no. Why the fuck has that just rebooted itself? What's going on? I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. I won't lie. Oh, can you fuck off with the jump scares, please? Okay. Okay. Oh, I don't like this. Okay, you know what? This is where we're going to end this video. Holy fucking shit. It's where we're going to end this part. Oh, if you're excited for the rest of the um, video or if the re for the rest of the series, then hit the like button. Comment video just down below. Subscribe. That has really left me feeling nervous. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Whew. I'm going to continue recording this just on another episode. Fucking hell. See you in the next one, guys. Peace.